Hey guys, Gable from One Grateful Toad, and today I have another edition in the 20th anniversary of Beezus for One Piece by Bandai. And I think this is fair to say, most people's favourite character within the crew. So I'd be really surprised if this character doesn't have a really great level of detail and paint, just because it's expected that a lot of people are going to be buying this piece just because Zara is such a popular character. So let's get right into it. Obviously we have our 20th anniversary branding and our merchandising logos. We then have side one, side two, the back, the bottom, and the top of course with our all important Toei sticker. Here he is, and this piece comes with no accessories, it just comes with the base, and as I've said, I think the basis for these pieces is just too large, and it's not like too special for them to really add to the piece, so I just leave them in the boxes, because most of them will stand by themselves, but what I've found is this piece won't. So what I've used is, there's a stand which comes with Brook, and I thought originally it was to hold Brook up because he's a bit... He's a bit shaky because he's such a tall and thin figure, but actually Zoro needs this stand. And I'm not sure if any of the other figures I've only got two left to unbox come with a stand. So I'm currently using that stand to hold Zoro up because he will not balance well the stand. And I don't want him to be the only one not on a on his base when the rest aren't on his base. So let's take a look. The first thing I notice is there isn't much shading to his pants at all. Although there is some sort of battle damage graphs here and there, some nice sort of detail in the movement of the sculpt itself. The paint's very flat. I want to be careful spinning this in case he falls again. But yeah, it's a solid it's a solid colour with just some battle damage. But while we're here you can see all the sword hilts are sculpted individually. They are obviously his actual swords, but they've actually put some effort into making sure those are all right and that the colours and such are done well. Um again the gold on him is very basic, it's sort of Luffy level where the gold itself isn't highly detailed, it's just these circles. And the shading isn't anything to write home about. But his face is done quite well. And there is a smiling portrait for him. Which I don't yet have. What I will say though is his jacket has a similar level of shading of brooks. With some depth and some colour and some really nice texturing to it. And here you can see his sword handles. Each with their own colouring and detailing. Those are quite nice. Especially this one. Some nice detailing there. Obviously he's ready to grab it. At any time, and again, that detailing continues down there. There's a seam here, but like a real jacket would have a seam there. So, in all, I'd say he's middle of the pack so far in what I've seen of him. So, let's do some sizing up and comparisons. So, height wise, he's about 15, 15 and a half centimeters, about 6 inches. Width, he's about 10 centimeters, about 4 inches. His depth, feeling is just over 4 inches, about 11 centimeters. So because he's being a bit of a pain because of that stand he won't hold up, I don't want to move him too much just because it's a really large irritant. So here he is next to 1 8 Jiro. So all in all, I think, honestly, because it's Zoro and he's such a popular character, I think they should have put more time into this figure. I feel like he should have at least been on the quality that Brook was, if not better. Um, there's nothing wrong so much with the sculpt itself or the amount of detail put into it. I just feel like the painting and maybe the way the gold was done they could have added a bit more just I feel like he deserved as a character that bit more depth that bit more attention I don't feel like he's got it I think like he's been left to sort of a lower quality of some of the other characters such as Usopp which was a bit low on the quality chain so although there's nothing wrong with it I'd still give it sort of a 6 out of 10 and the fact it does blend in with the rest of the cast it'll look fine and look great all together with the other characters from this line I feel like Zoro deserved just a little bit more of attention that he hasn't got, unfortunately. But it's still a good figure, and it once it's all set in with the whole crew, I'm sure it'll look great. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.